guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're at the Canton Museum of Art. Yep. We're gonna take a tour of their art here and kind of take you along our journey. Yeah, I've never been here. I haven't either. We might have the entire museum to ourselves. So far. At least so far. They gave us these little magazine things. Faith's like flipping through it here, but it tells you about different stuff in here. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. All of it first steps ads. Mm, this one's kind of cool. It has like a whole bunch of different animals. I can see three, four, five, six, seven on the one side. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I love that. That's really awesome. This one looks like Jenna Marbles dog. Oh my gosh, it does. <laughs> I this love that. Kind of weird. That bunny is so cute. Oh, <laughs> it is cute. This bunny cracked me up from the moment we walked in. Look how long its ears are. It's longer than its body. This guy's got nipples. <laughs> so detailed. Look at this fabulous otter. He is taking a bath or something. Got some butterflies growing on. Yeah, so cute. This monkey looks very angry, but he at least has Jesus. Whoa, look at that lion. I have his hair. <sighs> I am not kidding you. When I walked in here, I thought somebody had chopped up a horse and that was the art. Kind of freaked me out a little bit. I know. They look real. Yeah. These kind of look realistic. It's a lot to look at, though. Hmm. I don't think we can touch that either. That <laughs> makes it look like you're in the middle of painting it because all the paint hit at the bottom. Yeah. That's cool. It's a painting in a painting. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Look at that egg. <laughs> it that literally looks, looks like a real egg hanging there. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Look, <laughs> that's like an old timey looking thing and I love it. Oh my God, look at all these balloon dogs eating hot dogs. Love that. Oh my God, that person looks like they're actually sitting on a stack of boxes looking at us. Yeah, that's the artist. Wow. Really cool. Yeah, myself as a still life. Cool. Yeah, so I was just saying the lighting and his paint and artwork, like the white lines that he does within it, it just, and like the shadowing too, I think, makes it pop and seem so 3D and like realistic. That's really cool. So when we first walked in, the lady let us know that these doors were going to be up here. And before this museum was here, there actually used to be um, Altman, the guy who like founded Altman Hospital. It was his mansion. So these were actually the doors to his mansion at the time when it first got here. Okay, so here's something interactive. Enjoy the wonders of color by walking across these tiles. Whoa. It's art you can step on. I love the blue. This one's really interesting. Oh, 
How cool is that? <laughs> That's really cool. You could probably try to draw something. That'd be like such a fun hopscotch to have as a kid. Yeah. Now this is cool. This is like what their little offices look like as artists. Kind of reminds me of Walt Disney's office, minus the chair. I thought this one was a picture, but it's actually a painting. Oh, no, it's colored pencil. What? And acrylic, so it is paint and colored pencil. Say, there's no way I could do that with colored pencil. <laughs> I could make this. Also, hi. <laughs> you can see me in there. A black square. It's literally just a black square. Now, this is amazing. This looks like a picture, too. Wow, really this is oil on canvas, so oil paint. That's nuts. Look at all these beautiful, sparkly things. I love them. They're so shiny. Bam! Here's artwork of the little ones from elementary schools. That's so cute. One thing that I noticed, it was sitting outside this whole time, but his head fell off. But I think it's the Grinch. But I can put my head in there. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah. Well, we think we're pretty much done with the exhibit. Mm -hmm. We went through our little booklet because we were like, I don't think we finished it all. And then we looked through it and we did. There was one page that, and I don't know where that artwork is. This room's like a big box and then a bunch of little boxes within it. And then mm -hmm. like you go back out to the main lobby and like that's it. Yeah. So. So, I mean. It's relatively it was, small, but it is really cool. Yeah, it was really cool. I didn't think I would really like it that much, but I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. But I'm just confused because I felt like there was a lot more because when I looked it up online, it said something like it was supposed to take two hours to get through. I mean, if you stop and stare at everything. Oh yeah. Gosh. That's the only thing I could think of is when people stop and stare at things for like ever. Yeah. I kind of think that the place we went, I know it wasn't, I guess it wasn't an exhibit, um, the Wonder of Cleveland or Otherworld, that's really cool because you can like get in the art and get on it and like yeah. touch it and do things. Yeah, I think things. that's why I kind of like those a little bit more because yeah. they were like more interactive. interactive. I mean, there was that one interactive that thing was cool. that was really cool, but um, I just feel like there was supposed to be more, but there wasn't. Thanks for watching today's video. See you guys next time. Bye.